ओके सो विल सी अ कंसाइनमेंट साइकिल बेसिकली व्हाट इज अ कंसाइनमेंट कंसाइनमेंट इज अ प्रोसेस वेयर वेंडर विल कीप सम मटेरियल इन आवर प्लांट इन आवर कंपनी बट दिस मटेरियल इज स्टिल ओन बाय द वेंडर वी हैव नॉट येट परचेस्ड इट द लायबिलिटी वी आर नॉट लायबल फॉर द पेमेंट ऑफ दिस मटेरियल एंड द लायबिलिटी विल गेट जनरेटेड ओनली व्हेन यू पुल दैट स्टॉक फ्रॉम द कंसाइनमेंट टू योर ओन स्टॉक that time only you are liable for the payment so this is what is vendor consignment uh, where the material is lying in our premises but the vendor or the owner of the material is still the vendor and it is not valued in our inventory it is uh, your stock account does not increase because of this consignment stock okay so we'll see how it works in sap first what i'll do i'll uh, the main thing is that info record is mandatory for the consignment cycle so we'll first create a info record me 11 is the transaction code say i have vendor 100 material t195 purchasing organization 1000 plant 1000 now the same material i can purchase as a standard wherein whenever i do the goods receipt i am liable for the payment or i can purchase it as a consignment also what i will do i will create both the info records and will show you what is the difference how system identify the correct info record in this cycle okay so first i'll create a standard info record which is a normal procurement cycle and so for the normal uh, purchase the price is 15 euro uh, i'll save this and same info record i'll create for consignment and for consignment say the price is 20 so for normal it is 15 consignment it is 20 this is just an example i'm taking and i'll save this okay now i'll create a purchase order and the transaction code is me21n say the vendor is 100 material is t195 and quantity say 100 is required okay uh, just press enter and system will find out a info record if you see this info record has been identified if i go to conditions this is price is 15 euros which means the price has been taken from the normal info record right now when i uh, select this item category when i go to the item category and i will select here consignment so when i select consignment and double click this and press enter the conditions tab in purchase order will disappear so your consignment purchase order does not have the price in the purchase order because you don't know whether, when you are going to use that material and what is the price on that particular day so your prices are taken from the info record which is a uh, which you will keep updating as and when you go on with the price revisions so in consignment po there is no conditions tab no purchase no purchase order rate okay now i'll save this okay. and we'll do the goods receipt for this material this is the po number and i'll go to transaction me go migo okay i am doing goods receipt against purchase order execute this okay item okay so i am receiving a quantity of 100 and if i go to the where tab this is gr for the consignment stock the moment type is 101 and the next column the special stock is k k stands for consignment so this is a special stock k k is consignment okay so it will update the consignment stock now before i post this goods receipt if i check this stock overview from here i can go to the inventory 
so this is zero quantity stock this is a new material so the total stock is zero and value is also zero if i go to material master accounting view if i double click on this material code here i'll double click and go to the accounting one for plant 1000 so the total stock now is zero value is also zero okay and now i'll post this goods receipt okay so the document has been posted now if i go to display document display it will uh, show you the last created material document and press enter so it will display the last created material document and from here now if i go to the stock overview this stock overview button in the where tab okay so here you can see that still your own stock is zero but there is a vendor consignment stock of 100 and if you double click on this it will show you which vendor and what is the stock available it is in the unrestricted use stock okay then uh, in the same way now if i go to the material master mm03 and to the accounting view for plan 1000 still your own stock is zero and value is also zero so this vendor consignment stock is not owned by us it is still owned by the vendor so it is not valuated in our inventory if you check this document info tab and try to look out for the fi document so no subsequent documents found in accounting it means for the consignment goods received there is no uh, fi document posted no material valuation no inventory posting okay now when you need this material then what we do is we do the transfer posting from consignment stock to our own stock okay and that moment type is 411 special stock type is k so i will do that now i am in migo only so what i'll do i'll say transfer posting and here you will say others moment type is 411 enter the moment type here 411 and the special stock in the next field is k consignment so 411k okay material is t195 plant 1000 story location triple zero one here you will give the vendor 100 is the vendor and so now out of 100 i just want to transfer 20 quantity here okay and i am putting it in the same story location the moment type here is 411k this is important sometimes they may ask you in interview okay check post okay now if i again display this document i will again go to display and this is the last created document so execute okay now if i see the stock overview here from this icon so you can see that out of 100 uh, consignment stock 20 has been pulled in your own inventory and you are liable for the payment of 20 this 80 is still owned by the vendor it is vendor consignment okay then if i go to the material master now double click on any uh, anywhere in the material code and go to the accounting view for plant 1000 and now here you can see that your total stock is 20 and value is 400 okay so this is what is a consignment transfer from consignment stock to own stock and now if you check the accounting document here if i go to the document info fi documents so accounting document is generated and you can double click and check that so account posting happen when you pull from the consignment to own okay now there is one transaction code to see the list of uh, consignment stocks in a plant and that transaction code is mb54 so if i run the transaction mb54 and i want to check what is the consignment stack in plant 1000 or i can look it for a particular vendor 
particular material everything so i want to check the consignment stock in plant 1000 and execute this so here you can see this is this is your material and these are the vendors how much quantity is available what is the price and what is the value so through that we can uh, see what is the value of that material okay so t195 is the material 100 vendor 80 quantity consignment is available 20 is the price this is taken from info record there was no price in purchase order and 1600 euro is the value at this price okay now the last step is settlement uh, when we purchase from the vendor we need to when we uh, pull it in our own stock but we need to pay to the vendor now since this is lying in our premises vendor doesn't know when we have taken how much material so in this case vendor does not send the invoice and we do the automatic settlement or we settle the invoice liability on our own and that is done in transaction code mrko mrko okay so here i'll say the company code is 1000 and i can select vendor 100 uh, plant 1000 and material is t195 okay sorry 195 now you consignment and pipeline both are settled in the same transaction so here i'll select consignment you have two options display and settle so first in the display mode it will display if there is any error and if not then you can settle so i'll execute this okay so the info is not settled and click back i'll click on select settle so select this radio button settle and execute now this has been settled and this accounting document has been generated so if you click on this it will show you the account posting so vendor has been credited the 400 euros this rate was taken from the info record so all your tax information and record must exist in the info record you have seen that there was no rate in the purchase order so info record is mandatory for this cycle to complete okay so that's it in the uh, consignment cycle it is a simple process and uh, easier to understand you need to remember a few points that's it okay thank you